Okay, so if you're thinking about being a writer, this one's going to be very important to you. Um, I just found out something pretty awesome that I've been following today. Uh, it involves Twitter. So, uh, number one, as you know, I have Twitter, and um, I have previously hated it. <laughs> um, I'm really starting to like Twitter, and I'm ashamed to admit it. But at the same time, I'm not, because there's a lot of good things happening on Twitter. So here's my previous um, idea of what Twitter was. Twitter is like the Facebook statuses of Facebook without any of the fun content. That's what I thought about it. People are updating like, oh, I'm at the mall. Oh, I'm going shopping with so-and-so friend. Oh, and it's just like one after the other. And I was like, that's stupid. Here's what Twitter really is. And most of you probably know this. I'm always late to the technology game uh, because I, I resist having to buy all these fancy upgrades. Twitter's free, I know. I just, it's a general, it's a general school of thought. Here's what Twitter really is to me, and I'm finding this out. Twitter allows me to talk to famous people, and they talk back. Um, Twitter, it's like you can find anybody that you want to and talk to them. They can choose not to talk back, but you can talk to them, and you can follow them. So if they keep their Twitter updated, you can kind of see what's going on to everybody that you care about at all. Uh, on a feed that actually works because Facebook sucks. So I'm really starting to like it. I have 43 followers today. I could always use more and I would really appreciate it if you'd follow me. I'm at, that's the at sign, SKBalk, B-A-L-K. And follow me on Twitter because 43 followers is never enough. Okay, that said, uh, what I've been doing today is um, I've discovered that there are pitching wars on Twitter. So if you have a story and the manuscript is finished, that's the important part because you got to basically be ready to query when you do this. There are a, ver a variety of different pitching wars and basically the idea is you pitch your story in a single tweet. 140 characters, so like you, the most concentrated form of your story hook somebody with one tweet. That's the whole point of the pitching wars. And there's a whole bunch of them. Like, I found Pit Mad, and the reason I found it is because I follow a whole bunch of agents and, and publishing companies and authors on Twitter. And this is what I've been doing. And um, one of them had posted, hey, everybody, don't forget Pit Mad's tomorrow, or whatever. And you follow it. And basically what happens is you tag your post as uh, Pit Mad, in this case, and there's like a genre tag, and then you tweet your pitches and there's like rules like you only do like two an hour or whatever uh, don't favorite another person's tweet do retweet it because if you favorite it that's for the agents when an agent favorites the tweet that means that they want you to query them so it's basically like hi I noticed you and I this looks interesting talk to me some more about it so it's actually really cool and then of course if like you see an author whose pitch you really like then you can retweet it and it gives them more exposure and and shows that people other people like your idea too so um, it was really cool today's is SFF pit which is science fiction fantasy pitch so it's hashtag SFF PIT and currently it is the fourth highest trending hashtag on Twitter at this moment so that tells you how much exposure it's getting and what happens is there's gonna be a whole bunch of authors just like you tweeting pitches and there's gonna be a whole bunch of agents and publishers watching that hashtag looking for things that interest them um, so it's actually really really awesome so if you are trying to be noticed and the queries in general aren't working for you and you want to give it a try and you have Twitter then you can go ahead what I did was I've I have currently have four of them ready to go and it four different pitches that fit in a single tweet um, I'm probably going to try to have more like 10, but trying to <laughs> trying to make your story sound interesting in 140 characters is actually really, really hard. <laughs> so currently I have four. And I've been watching SFF, SFF Pit all day, wishing I could be one of them, but I'm not ready. And you don't want to try to do this when you're not ready or you'll just piss people off. So if you are a writer... I definitely recommend you do that. If you are a writer, I definitely recommend you start working on your social media base. I'm starting to think about Pinterest. But I read somewhere that it's 
probably better to do two or three of these things well rather than do all of them poorly. So far I think I'm going to stick to, if I had to pick three, I'm going to stick to the WordPress blog, which is you guys, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. Tumblr is interesting, but it's more like entertainment value and not, s well, I have seen some agents with some pretty good Tumblr blog blogs, but I have WordPress for that, so I'm not using Tumblr for that. Tumblr for me is more like entertainment. Um, and then Twitter is all this rapid fire nonsense happening all over. It's almost like networking. That's really easy. And then everybody's got Facebook. I wish it weren't so, but it is. Um, so that is my spiel for today. I feel like there was something else I was going to say. Oh, I was just going to say, um, from here on out, my would-be agent, the my future agent, the agent that I want so bad that I keep talking about how I've been stalking this person, uh, from here on out, I'm going to refer to that agent as Senpai. <laughs> if you're not familiar with the Senpai meme, I'm going to link it below. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when I say, Senpai noticed me today, it means that they talked to me. I know, I'm sad. I've actually started keeping a list of agents that I like and agents that I don't like for various reasons. Uh, remember, if you're gonna, if you're going to go, okay, pause. Frankie had mentioned that um, she was thinking of self-publishing, and I've, once upon a time I was thinking of self-publishing too, but I kind of really want to try out the traditional way first. So um, she had mentioned in a previous blog she thought it'd be really cool if we each did a different one. It'd be awesome for the blog if she tries self-publishing and I try the real thing. Not the real thing. The traditional thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> Slip of words. I made it look really bad. So we're going to try different ways, and um, hopefully that should be really interesting for you, because Frankie will get to publish immediately and see her results, and I'll be over here suffering and crying at all my rejection letters, but it'll be good for, for you to watch me do that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, what I was going to say was, uh, so remember... If, if you're, uh, the agent-writer relationship is very personal, um, it's going to depend highly on who you are as a person and who, what your agent is looking for. So um, I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself for the litany of rejection letters because a rejection letter doesn't necessarily mean that, that you're not a good writer. What it means is that your story and their interests do not match. So it's just find a new agent. <laughs> So don't be scared. But what, so what I was saying was I have a list now of ones that, that look like they will fit me and ones that look like they won't. Um, the ones that look like they won't I have for a variety of reasons. Um, does not want fantasy. Uh, some of them seem really bitchy. I, I watched like one of them tweet like their replies to queries and I, I feel like they should probably just keep some of that in their head because it just seems kind of harsh. And not in a good way harsh. Not like critical, like this is just wrong. Sort of like mean harsh. And I was like, eh, I don't know that you and I are going to mesh that well. Um, and some of them are just like swamped. So I don't feel like I'm ever going to reach them. On the good list, I have more like, if they have multiple genres that would interest me. So like I would, I might ever in my lifetime potentially write young adult, erotica, fantasy, dark fantasy, romantic fantasy, high fantasy. So um, I'm looking for all of those things. And so if they have multiples of those, it, it makes me feel like their interests in general are the same as mine. So that excites me. Um, I have a new agent on there. Like, she's brand new. Um, because... I, although it would probably take me a lot longer to get published with a new agent because they're still building their credibility base. Uh, at the same time, I would think I would feel more special with a new agent and she's going to be hungry for clients. So she's on the list. Of course, Senpai's on the list. You don't need to know who that is. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping <laughs> that Senpai follows my blog and then someday when my, my query ends up on that person's desk, they'll just be like... You've been following me for so long. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a weirdo. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so that concludes it today. Uh, social media is beautiful. Twitter is actually 
better than I thought that it was, and I'm ashamed to admit it. And um, the, the pitching events are awesome, so look out for those. All right, I'll see you guys later.